Hello, I'm Jessica Highland's Confidence Coach, specialising in confidence because I believe that our level of self-confidence determines so much that happens to us in life. So how you feel about yourself will determine what you think and what you feel, which in turn will determine what you do and say, which translates into the results that you achieve. And this is across every area of your life, so your work, your relationships, your ability to have fun, your ability to be happy. All of this boils down to how you feel about yourself. And it's really important that we, uh, that we do live a life true to ourselves. So what does that mean, living true to yourself? Really, it means living a life that suits your inner being, if you like, the, the core you. Not living true to yourself might manifest itself in, um, for example, doing a job that isn't really suited to you, or maybe having friends that aren't really suited to you. You might go along with uh, a group of people because you think they're the cool crowd and they're always out partying and having a good time. But really and truly, what you would love to do is to be sitting at home playing Scrabble. Um, you feel that sitting at home playing Scrabble doesn't sort of make for a very exciting person or doesn't make for what we should be aiming to be. And so you're spending your life out on the res all the time, ah, but it's not really connecting with your soul, let's say. And however, however it's manifesting itself in your life, not living true to yourself, maybe you're doing something for a living that your parents thought would have been a good idea. And that was 20, 30 years ago. You're still doing it. You're still not happy doing it. It's still not, you're still not sort of connecting with it. Um, so there are going to be a lot of things that we are doing in relationship wise. Um, everything, everything that we do can be a choice, a conscious choice, or it can be that we've just sort of fallen into it and, and say so years and years later we're still doing it even though it doesn't really suit us. And living that way, where we're not living a life true to how we would ideally like to be living it, that is really hard work. It, take, it drains you of energy, it drains you of happiness, um, it can make, you know, you're feeling tired all the time, emotionally, you're feeling on edge, you're, oh, is this what life's all about? Isn't there more to life than this? And you're feeling that because you're not fulfilling your true needs. Now, all of this, I think, I believe, boils down to how we feel about ourselves and our level of self-confidence. Because if we're in a situation we don't like and we are feeling confident, we change it. You know, whatever you're doing for a living, whatever your situation, if you weren't happy doing it and you were truly confident and believed in yourself and, and were happy with your decisions, then you'd say, OK, I'm going to change it. I don't want to be a solicitor anymore. I want to be a, I don't know, gardener, whatever it is you want to do, whatever you feel, you know, maybe the opposite end of the scale. Um, so it is important to live true to yourself. If you feel, if you recognise this in yourself, you feel that you're not in alignment with what it is you're doing, the way that you're acting, the people you're mixing with, um, even where you're living. If anything isn't, doesn't feel like it's uh, sitting happily with you, do give that some thought. It really is important. It really is a fundamental uh, factor to how happy we are. So have a look at that. I wish you all the best with making any changes that you might need to in order to be happy. As ever, if you'd like any help, then please do get in touch for a, a chat and we can talk about how we might be able to move things forward for you. So I do wish you all the best and here's to a happier life. Thanks for listening. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye for now.